Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 9 Let's Play here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans content, tips, tricks, and of course, entertainment. Also, if you like other games, then do be sure to check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. The link is in the description. So guys, today it is all about trying to get a hero upgraded. I know I don't have a lot of Dark Elixir, but I have a feeling... And the title in the thumbnail probably already answers the question, but I have a feeling that we're going to be ending up with plenty of Dark Elixir. So let's just bounce in there, shall we, with the Goblin Knife and stab a base and the Dark Elixir will ooze out. And that's a wonderful visual, isn't it? Uh, we're going to Goblin shank this base and the Dark Elixir is just going to fall all over the place. It's going to be just glorious. But um, yeah, also on top of that, the gold, I'm actually at 5,000 gold already, or 5 million, sorry. I've been trying to accumulate gold um, at the same time as Dark Elixir and not really worrying too much about Elixir because I figured, you know what, we're going to end up maxing our walls out before we finish the heroes anyway. So who cares a whole lot about all that stuff? But um, yeah, ooh, here's an easy one. Wow, check that out. Dark Elixir, super easy Dark Elixir to find actually. Super, super easy. However, uh, I'm going to need a little bit more than that, I think. I'm going to need a little bit more than 2,600. Actually, ideally, we would run into about 4,000 to 5,000 for both of these raids here today. So, guys, I'll be right back once I find the base that's got all the loot that we can slimmy shank on out of there. And uh, it's going to be a good time. So, I'll be right back once I find that base. All right, guys, here's the base that I found, 3,640 Dark Elixir. That's not exactly the four or 5,000 that I wanted to find, but I clicked the next button enough times I'm ready to attack a base. So um, this base is not going to be super, super easy. Uh, we do have both drills kind of separated. The Dark Elixir is in the very, very middle, but I have a good feeling that this will go at least sort of okay. So let's go in with the Giants. Uh, let's get in with the Archers as well. And it's super important that the wall breakers actually break through the wall here. So let's go ahead and get them all in there. There we go. Very good. Now let's throw down a few goblins to create the funnel. Then let's slow, uh, quickly throw down our, uh, basically our line. All right, we're going to need our line of, um, of spells, okay? So there we go. The goblins are now diving in and hopefully... Hopefully they trigger some giant bombs and stuff before they actually get to the Dark Elixir. Come on! Yes! And the Dark Elixir storage and the Town Hall goes flipping down. That was awesome. So that, that was all over the funnel. Because we went into a like a like a T junction right there. Look at that. It's shaped like a T. And we still managed to get all the goblins to go in there. And what I did was I kind of trickled a few up in front first. So that they'll trigger the giant bombs and realize there is one there. So that worked out nicely. And uh, we did good. So now, guys, let's get the king, let's get the queen. And they're going to grab the Dark Elixir out of this drill up here. And they're going to be able to do it without taking a single drop of hit point damage. Let's go ahead and close that quickly. And there you go. 3,640 Dark Elixir. Plus a loot bonus that was over like, what, 3,700? Nearly 3,800. The gold and the Elixir, like I was saying earlier, really don't matter all that much. So that was awesome. Um, that was exactly how much loot I was looking for. Because if you look now, hold on just a minute, just a minute. Get the Goblin Knife, get the request. There we go. We're currently sitting on 50,000 Dark Elixir. And I'm going to need 95,000 Dark Elixir. That means I, I actually, officially, I need 94,000, okay? That's going to be doable. And I'll, again, if you didn't see the title of the thumbnail, then why did you even click the video? Uh, but no, um, seriously, uh, we got some good stuff coming here very, very soon. But for now, let's go and let's smack one more base. And, and smack, I mean, do you smack with a knife? You don't. You don't. Uh, I really think that we need to come up with a new... A new way to, to explain what it is that we're doing. We're stabbing bases, right? We're stabbing them. We're gutting them. We're, we're sending the knife of goblins straight up and through the gut. And it's just great. But here we go. Um, that's the base I was looking for right there. That is gorgeous. Uh, 6,295 Dark Elixir. That is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to do some fancy pants stuff right here, okay? I'm going to get um, a couple of giants, okay? They're going to do the fancy pants stuff that I was talking about. Giants, I'm going to get one more up there. Uh, giants, get in there. Um, let's start, go ahead and make a funnel out there. And then boom, boom, boom. This, my friends, will be a ton of Dark Elixir grabbed with like 20 goblins. If not less. That may have been less. That may have been like 15. But there we go. So that was awesome. Now we have another drill. And then a storage way in the middle. This is going to be a pain. Uh, all right. So um, Giants, get in there, buddies. Yes, very good. Let's get the archers in there too. Very, very good. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to get the hogs to go in early. Thank you to whoever donated them to me in the clan. The clan castle. Alright, and let's just start smacking down some wall breakers, okay? This is going to be good. 
So as soon as the wall breakers get their job done, there's a lots of great defense uh, buildings down right now. So this is great. Uh, the the giants doing some work too. Okay, so here's what we're gonna have to do. Oh, we don't have a. Ooh, this is gonna be a problem, guys. Um, the wall breakers did not break into this main compartment, so the giants are actually burling through that wall right now. This is good, though. This is really good. Uh, let's get the goblins in there, and then let's drop the jump, the heal, the heal, the rage, the king, the queen, poison, and goblins. So what I really need is for these goblins to go in on that dark elixir, or I'm sorry, in that gold storage in the middle, and then that dark elixir storage in the middle, too. Let's go, guys. Let's go. And the queen helps out. That was awesome. Oh my goodness. We had a lot of goblins go up to the top, but that's fine. There was a gold storage up there that was distracting stuff. Uh, what was most important was that we got that dark elixir out of the storage. Oh, that was gorgeous, man. That's, that's amazing. We didn't just gut that base. We spliced that base, okay? That base was spliced. Like, whoops. It's awesome. Just totally, totally awesome. So, um, what else? I guess that king died, that queen died a long time ago. The last of the goblins goes down. That's a 65% uh, one star. I didn't worry too much about the... Town Hall, because frankly, most of the loot was in the drills in the storage anyway, so it was no big deal. But that was 58, actually, wow, 59, 5,900 Dark Elixir, if you add the two together. That was just beautiful. And then I'm actually sitting at now 56,000 Dark Elixir, which is officially 40,000 or less than 40,000 under what I need for this king upgrade. All right, so let's just... Go into the progress base, both attacks in the books, and decide on what's going to happen next. Now first, I think it makes most sense to go ahead and do our wall upgrades, since that's clear how that's going to work. Uh, so let's go ahead and use the gold out here that's going to complete our, I don't know, our fourth line. Yeah, so we have six lines. One of them is incomplete, but uh, four lines are done now with completely maxed out walls. We've got 74 walls to go. I'm going to go and do one more with gold. There we go. And then let's do two with... Elixir. All right, there we go. So that was what four five six seven seven million gold in elixir spent on walls at that pro uh, You know if we do seven every single episode I think that's reasonable uh, then that means that it'll only take ten episodes to max out our walls Not bad and if we're able to maybe get a hero upgraded every single episode too Then uh, then we're doing pretty good actually. I think we're doing pretty well indeed, but okay this is the part that you're all probably wondering if you didn't see the thumbnail or the title uh, is how in the world am I going to build upgrade this king? I mean, I'm not going to buy the loot. That's 1350 gems. That's at the cheapest rate or the most expensive rate technically per gem. That's $13 and 50 cents to just upgrade the king. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're going to use the battle boost. If you see that 40,000 dark elixir for two bucks. I mean, that's like the best two bucks that you can spend in the game. All right, let's just go ahead and buy that. That's going to be just great. Purchase all set and ready to go. Yes, the best two bucks ever. Now, guys, we can upgrade the king. Oh, it's great. Um, These, these special offers that pop up every once in a while, they're so great. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to buy them all. I don't need a book of spells. I don't need three training potions. Um, I don't even need the book of fighting. I don't even need 10 wall rigs. I mean, I'm going to have plenty of loot by the time my heroes max out. Now, this Town Hall 9 pack is interesting. 145,000 Dark Elixir, uh, but 20 bucks. I'm, I'm just not, you know, you guys know me. I, I may have $20, but that doesn't mean I'm going to spend it. But that was definitely worth it. Two bucks to be able to upgrade the king today. So worth it. So, guys, let's upgrade this king to level 24. That is a 95,000 Dark Elixir upgrade, a four-day upgrade, in which he will actually sit, and he will be upgrading for four days. Totally worth it, though. Let's do it in three, two, one. Bam. Nice. Not bad, man. Not bad. Now, I could actually use the Builder Boosts, uh, the Builder Potions, and actually speed him up. This does a 10x for one hour, so basically, I'd have to, wow, four days... 24 hours per day, that's what, 96? I'd have to have like 9 or 10 of these things in order for me to get the king back today. So never mind, I don't have enough of those. <laughs> not gonna work, not gonna work at all. Also, just a heads up, the golem still has four and a half days to go, so we have plenty of time to accumulate the dark elixir to be able to upgrade the golem to max eventually. Um, and of course, we are a long way away now to being able to upgrade the queen again. But I figured upgrading one hero is better than upgrading no hero. That is what today was all about. The best $2 that I've ever spent. All right, so guys, um, I guess that's all I can do. I mean, wall progress, hero upgrade, it's good. It's great. So now that we've done that and all that progress is in the books 
And I, what, what I mean by that normally is that it's recorded, like it's officially recorded so that you guys are going to be able to see it. But now that that is in the books, it is now time for today's comment question of the day. All right, interesting question today. Uh, the question is from Alex Dragon, and his question is, you're the best. Thank you. That's not a question, but it was the first part of the actual comment. He says, I've been watching for four years, and I've wondered why you don't play on the computer. I do, and I think you should try it. It's fun. Great question, Alex. So first of all, if you've actually been watching for four years, if you've legitimately been watching this channel since the beginning, four years now, or a little bit more than four years, then A, you're awesome, thank you so much, but B, you're forgetting that when I started the channel, I watched, or I played on the, uh, I played on the computer. That's how I started. I played, uh, Clash, obviously I played on my phone, but to record it, I used the computer. I used Bluestacks to, uh, to play the game, and that's totally legit. It's, it's cool. The problem with playing on the computer, though, is you're limited by the mouse, which means that you can only click one at a time. While, while I'm playing the game, I'm throwing down, like, three, four, sometimes six, or even eight, uh, troops at a time using multiple fingers because I'm on a, a tablet on an iPad. I think that playing on a tablet or an iPad um, Is way superior to playing on the computer I think that playing on the phone is better than playing on the computer again because you can use at least two thumbs when you're on the on the the phone So um, but yeah, I uh, again, I, I think it's a great way to do it download blue stacks or there's another one I can't remember it right now. I've done a lot of work with blue stacks in the past though So uh, so check it out if you want to play on the computer. It's totally legit um, I don't think supercell supports it like if you lose your account because something goes wrong with it Supercell doesn't support it, but it's not like it's something that they refuse to do or that they say you shouldn't do or that it's against the rules or anything it's just maybe not the smartest thing if you have like a really good account and you're uh, not connected to supercell id or anything once you're connected to supercell id then you're you're good to go i am pretty confident in that so um so but yeah alex thank you so much for the question um just wanted to kind of talk about pc stuff in the past guys four years of clash of clans youtube and it has been an absolute blast guys uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Quick and short answer to a quick and short straightforward question. Guys, like the video if you liked it, please hit that subscribe button. Also, if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the class family. Um, also remember if you want me to answer a comment question of the day in the future, post your comments down below in the comments section. And last but certainly not least, be sure and hit the gears at the bottom right hand side of the screen. Then hit more settings at once again the bottom right hand side of the screen. Scroll to the bottom and be sure that you are supporting a content content creator. It goes away every seven days. If you want to support me, my code is Klaus. Guys, remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.